Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome to Map Time, where we talk about all things early childhood. Today, we're talking with David Brody, a lecturer and author. Thanks for joining us, David. If you'd like to introduce yourself, I come from Israel. I teach at a <clears throat> teacher's college in Israel, where I'm the academic dean and head of the early childhood department. And uh, before I started doing that, before I moved to Israel, I was a preschool teacher for 17 years. And now I do research about men in early childhood education. My research actually began about 45 years ago when I decided to become a, uh, a, a teacher of young children when I signed up to teach for, uh, in a daycare center with four-year-olds. And over the years, I've always been interested in men's experiences in the early childhood classroom, why they choose this profession, uh, how they experience the... Uh, the teaching and uh, what it's like to be a man uh, with the parents and uh, with the other staff and with the children. Uh, but I didn't start formally researching this topic until about four years ago uh, when I realized that uh, there was really nothing written about men in early child education from an international perspective. There have been uh, a lot of studies, but it's, most of them are focused on one country or another. And I decided that uh, we can learn a lot by comparing men in early child education in different cultural contexts. And so I cooked up this idea of, of uh, looking at men in different countries and uh, writing a book about it, which is what I ended up doing. Okay, well, here's my book. Uh, it's called uh, Men Who Teach Young Children an International Perspective. It's based on my research of six men in the following countries, the Netherlands, the UK, Switzerland, Norway, the United States, and Israel. And uh, what I did was I traveled to each of these countries, and except Israel, which is where I live, <laughs> and uh, I spent a day in the class of a, of a uh, male early childhood teacher, and I interviewed them afterwards. And uh, I, I spoke to people who were, uh, gender balance uh, activist in their country to learn about uh, what's being done in their country about men in early childhood. And uh, I drew up my conclusions and wrote the book. Men are definitely in a minority. In the countries that I looked at, uh, the percentage of men ranges from 0.0043% in Israel to Norway, which is 11%. So uh, there is a different attitude about men in uh, early childhood in the different countries. I found some, some stunning uh, similarities uh, between the men. Uh, one had to do with uh, why they chose the profession, how they got into the profession. Men who go into early childhood uh, do it uh, for a variety of reasons. Sometimes they're just looking for a job and the job happens to be there and they take it and then they find out they really love it. And other men uh, intentionally go into the profession. Uh, there are those in different countries who come to this profession uh, later in life uh, after they've tried something else out and they, they're not finding much meaning in their work and then they, they look around and say, oh, here's an opportunity to do something that's really meaningful and with something that I really love doing. And they realize in themselves that they, they really love being with children. But no matter how they choose to get into the profession, they always have to overcome this uh, sense of something's not right here. I'm moving into uh, women's work. It's not really set up for men. And it takes a lot of gumption to, uh, to make this decision to, uh, to work with young children. So that's one similarity. Another similarity is, is what they do in their classrooms. One of the uh, unique aspects of my research is that I actually looked at men teaching. I wanted to get a picture of their practice, which hadn't really been done. I mean, there's most of the research about men in early childhood is based on interviews. Uh, it's based on self-reported uh, anecdotes or case studies. But very few researchers actually went into the classroom and uh, looked at the men teach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did that. And I found some, some amazing similarities between the men, uh, which, uh, which really go beyond their, their culture. Uh, for example, uh, men love to play with children. Mm -hmm. 
and I mean, you're a preschool teacher, you know that yeah. teachers like to play with children, but it actually doesn't happen very often. But all of the, uh, the men in my study, with the exception of one, <laughs> Uh, love to play with children, and that's uh, they they got a tremendous amount of satisfaction out of playing yeah. with children. Um, another aspect that was very similar is their an intellectual interest in in developing children's higher order thinking, uh, asking questions which uh, challenge children. Um, another common aspect is their daring, encouraging children to do bold and daring things, which. Mm -hmm. Often their female colleagues uh, are kind of you know, yeah. hesitant to, to do. Right. Well, again, I keep coming back to my Dutch teacher, uh, Levine. He, he told me about a discussion that the staff was having about whether they should allow the children to climb on the roof of a little playhouse on their, uh, in their yard, in their play yard. And uh, he was a minority of one. <laughs> he was in favor of allowing the children to climb on the roof. Everybody else was afraid of it. Another aspect that's common among the, the men is their charisma. They, the kids follow them. They, uh, they, they have a sense of, of leadership. I definitely noticed that as well. They like a sense of fun that they bring and, mm -hmm. yeah, different energy. I think the main contribution that men make uh, in teaching young children is to give children an opportunity to see men in a caring role. Men who teach young children open up a whole world for children of the possibility that uh, a man can be a loving, caring individual. I think it's a great role model for the little boys when they become fathers. A man can uh, take care of children, can uh, meet the needs of children on an emotional level. I think that's lacking in our society. I think that the, uh, the way that uh, children view men and women is uh, often very stereotyped. And uh, I think that, that men working with young children help to break down these stereotypes and uh, provide children with a much healthier view of how adults can be with children yeah. and, and what, what are the possibilities of how, how boys can act. Is, uh, they don't, boys don't always have to be the super macho hero. A boy can play with a doll, a boy can be loving and caring, and that's a, that's a message that the, the man brings. My Israeli informant, the kindergarten teacher that I interviewed, um, found that the fathers would come to him with questions about child rearing. And uh, the, the fathers actually asked him to start a father's group uh, to help them become better fathers. So uh, it's, it was an amazing contribution. Yeah. Well, because as a teacher, you, you notice you become a support network for the parents as well. And mm -hmm. they, they often come to you, you know, wondering if they're doing the right thing or... Mm -hmm. so. Both uh, my research and other research shows that uh, a, a kindergarten uh, can be a rather hostile place for a man to, to work. The, uh, the female staff not all the time, but, but often, view the man as uh, out of place. We call it uh, uh, gender territory, that this is territory, this is woman's territory. And one phenomenon that, that we find is that uh, the, the female staff sometimes uh, put the man in a uh, custodial position. Uh, they want him to uh, repair things, they want him to deal with the computer, they want him to move furniture. and. Uh, you know, we could look at this as a, as a benign, uh, kind of natural way things, labor gets divided in families and, and elsewhere. Uh, but a, a less benign interpretation is that the women are, are pushing the man out, pushing the man away from working with children, giving him other tasks to do. A lot of this is unintentional. I'm sure that many women would like to have more men on their staffs and be working with men, but. Uh, one thing that teachers can do is to treat the man equally, to make the man feel comfortable, to break down social barriers that are that would naturally exist between men and women, and and make the the man feel uh, give him a place, a place, a real place with children in the kindergarten. Thanks so much for your time here with us, and I definitely took a lot away from it. Well, first of all, it was a pleasure to talk with you. What I have to say is that. Uh, we need to uh, look at men who work with young children and to understand their stories. And I think that the most important thing is to understand what it's like for these men from their own perspective. 
Thanks for watching Map Time. Make sure you check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.